Yo, what up is Don? Sammy Lee here. We of course are the Soul Brothers. What up? Back with a despicable video. Um, Nick Young, man, he balled in these. <laughs> He it's balled just, in the freaking, what is it, the 750s or whatever? What, yeah, what he did, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the boots. gray one, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, this is a, another episode of Does It Basketball. We're taking uh, any kind of shoe flippers, um, <laughs> high heels, high beast shoes. We're going to ball in them and uh, let you know if you if you can do that. This is uh, the Yeezy 500 Desert Rat in this nice blush colorway. Very nice colorway. Yes. Um, so, getting right into the traction, very, very good. Ooh. The hell, man? I mean, it's obviously just the rubber compound because I don't think the actual pattern has anything to do with it. Yeah. The rubber compound, it actually sticks. It's also really, really squeaky. And uh, I feel like uh, dust is a minor issue. Um, I, I When it was dusty, I was sliding just a little bit. But when it's on the clean court, it's a very, very good traction. Mm. Has a really good stop. So I don't understand why um, um, some basketball shoes don't stick and a fucking easy. I know. Sticks. I mean, that makes no sense to me. But and also the rubber outsole is very hard, so outdoor use should be really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's that. Surprising for traction, right? Yeah. And now moving on to the cushion. Um, Addy Prime Plus sucks ass. Ooh. Um, no. Uh, Why do they even use Boost? Uh, yeah. Anymore. Just keep know. it Addy Prime Plus. No, 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 no. I disagree. You know. Um, uh, Donny Boy is just a hater. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's very stiff. There's really no compression. It's not super soft at all. I mean, I would say it's a little softer than Phylon, but nothing crazy. You can't really feel anything underfoot. The uh, the insole also sucks. Uh, it says Orsolite insole, but it's very stiff. Mm -hmm. uh, impact protection is not too good. Uh, response is really good, and uh, and you feel pretty low to the ground, but it's still like a chunky, like it feels kind of bulky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the cushion. Um, <clears throat> I mean, overall, it's not it's not very good. I guess it's the only the only thing that it's good for is response. Yeah. You know, but other than that, the other categories is not very good at. So. Yeah. Well, at least it's not like crazy stiff, yeah. Uh, no, I'm saying like crazy, um, uh, like too, like crazy amount of boost where you're too high and unstable. Oh where yeah, you that's literally true. can't play. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, so there's that. Moving on to the upper. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, there is a lot going on, but it's actually really soft. Mm. Um, it's 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 really soft and pliable, but it doesn't really have any give or stretch to it um the combination of mesh a suede and like leather is actually really really nice yeah um it has a good bend in the forefoot and that, that like it's really comfortable um so yeah i'm actually really impressed with the materials um it is uh, the only thing i don't like is that it feels a little thick i guess mm -hmm. um like you know if it was like a what do you call it like a knit it would probably be a little bit thinner um, but sometimes they do make this knit a little too thick. So, yeah. Um, yeah, um, materials, it's actually really nice. Word. And it's premium too, you know? Yeah. Um, fit. Fit, I would suggest going up half a size. It is a little uh, short mm -hmm. lengthwise. Um, but width wise, I would say it's, it's, it's a little bit wide. Uh, not wide, but like normal width, you know? Like the 350 V2 is really, really narrow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, wide footers rejoice i guess for yeezys yeah. um but fit is actually uh, not bad um there's really no dead space in the toe or anywhere in the shoe for me so uh, mm -hmm. that's good um so yeah there's that uh support supporting was also very very good mm -hmm. um the added premium plus comes up here <laughs> um and it's just like i don't know there, there is a heel counter dude yeah, you know that? It's yeah, like a it's really, pretty really, stiff. Yeah, really stiff material right, th no, right here. No, there's like full-on plastic in Yeah, there. that's crazy. Uh, why, why? If it's a, you know, regular, just casual shoe, why do you need all that shit, right? I don't know. That's that's interesting they did that. But support is actually really good. No, uh, given the materials, lateral containment is good, so lockdown is really good. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing uh, for lockdown, though, I would say is that there's a little bit of heel slippage. Mm. Um, but... Other than that, yeah, lockdown and support are very, very good. Word. Uh, let's weigh this thing. How much the weight? Uh, this has got to be 
12 and a half. 13.3. Ooh. Pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, does it feel for heavy? For a low, too. Yeah, for a low, too. Yeah, that's very heavy. Does it feel heavy? Yeah, it feels a little heavy and a little bulky, especially with this bulky ass cushion setup and the thick, uh, pretty thick materials. Mm -hmm. uh, so, not the lightest feeling shoe, but um, it's still comfortable and cozy. Yeah. You know? And yeah. cushion's responsive and traction's pretty good, so it doesn't feel too laggy in response. So. Yeah. There's that. Um, ventil how's ventilation? Ventilation when I was playing in it was a little warm. Mm. Uh, there's really no ventilation holes in this, so it's gonna be pretty hot. Um, durability seems like it should be okay. Yeah, one of the Somewhat. most durable Yeezys I've seen, right? Yeah. Um, uh, from Adidas, obviously. Yeah. So uh, there's that. Uh, aesthetics, uh, yeah, when, you when you're playing in these, people are gonna be looking at your shoes and you're gonna blow past yeah. them. You're gonna be like, look at my shoes, huh? Yeah. And then you just do a move and you just go in, you know what I mean? You're gonna start guarding, they're gonna be like, wait, is this motherfucker <laughs> wearing Yeezys right now? Yeah. You're, you're good. Every you single time. Bucket. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, that's how good looking these are. Yeah. yeah. These are straight garbage. Um, and, uh, well, let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. 220 bucks. That's Reselling expensive. for 600 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know the resale anymore. It just goes yeah, up and down. It goes now, up you know? and down. Um, but, uh, so if you're willing to spend that much, you're crazy for a basketball shoe. But yeah. if you're wearing these and uh, your, your buddies are like, oh, dude, let's go hoop. You're like, I don't have anything else. I need to go home. Oh, we don't have time. All right, I'm fine because I have the Yeezy 500s on exactly. and I can ball in these because these do basketball and they do it like pretty well. Not, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty surprised. Traction's good, yeah. cushion's not bad, materials aren't horrible at all. They're actually pretty damn nice and the fit isn't bad, support's good. Um, so yeah, these are actually, they ball um, and actually pretty well. Mm. So I was very surprised. Um, so yeah, it does basketball. Um, comparing it to like actual basketball shoes, not bad. You know, uh -huh. there's some basketball shoes I'd rather uh, not play in, and I'd play, play in these. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, very, very surprised in these, and Nick Young was right to ball in these. Yeah. I don't know about the 700s or whatever. I, don't, I actually don't even have those, but um, these actually do balls. So, um, there you go. That's the verdict, and that's the Does It Basketball for the Yeezy 500. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.